Hi there. In this video, I'll go through a few clinical pearls I've learnt during my time in the glaucoma clinic. According to the Normal Tension Glaucoma Study, a third of the patients progressed very quickly, a third progressed at a normal rate, and there was no change to the remaining third. Therefore, it's okay to observe your patients only and monitor for progression before initiating treatment. If you're using Timolol, you can use the lower 0.25% concentration for those with lighter eyes and 0.5% for those with darker eyes. Prostaglandins are pro-inflammatory and may cause diabetic macular edema. Therefore, you may need to discontinue prostaglandins and try another class of medication, for example, beta blockers. The normal dosage for Diamox is 500 mg four times a day. If clinically appropriate, this can be reduced to 500 mg twice a day. I had one patient who had renal problems and this dosage was adjusted to 250 mg four times a day. So you can keep the same total dosage, but reduce the amount of the medication and increase the frequency so not to overload the kidneys. With a carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, it's an all or nothing drug. The medication must inhibit all the enzymes for it to work. Azopt is a suspension, therefore it can be used twice a day, whereas Truzop or Dulzolamide is a drop and needs to be used three times a day. However, Dulzolamide and Dortum or Cozopt is used twice a day due to the beta blocker. Those with normal teaching glaucoma with a low starting IOP, for example, 10 millimeters of mercury, you can start on bromonidine for its neuroprotective properties instead of the prostaglandin. If you see Bowman's folds or crinkling on the cornea, this is due to low IOPs or hypotony. 15% of patients may not respond to medication, for example, not responding to high sight. Therefore, you can try a different class of medication, for example, Timolol, or try another medication within the same class. So in this example, we could have tried Lumigan. Thanks for watching.